Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers, brothers and sisters. Once again, in this segment, we will talk about one of the stories of prophets, peace be upon them all. And before the segment, the first segment, it was an advice. And in this segment, we will be going in deep detail, mentioning the ayat, mentioning the verses from the Quran about that prophet. Who is this prophet we are talking about? We are talking about Prophet Salih, peace be upon him. Prophet Salih, before coming to the detail of the story, he is an Arab prophet who came to the people of Arabian Peninsula and specifically between Hijaz and Tabuk. The place there, Allah Almighty sent this mighty prophet of Allah and a great prophet as all the prophets are great. Allah Almighty sent him for a message of Tawheed, for the message of La ilaha illallah, for the message that these people should worship Allah Almighty alone without associating any partners. So what happened and what exactly these people did and how, how these people reacted to the message or to the advice of Salih. Now, Salih, when Allah Almighty sent him as a prophet and as a messenger to these people, these people are still worshipping idols, worshipping stones, worship, worshipping statues. So Allah Almighty sent Salih to these people. And Allah Almighty mentioned about Salih in Surah, Surah Hud. And Allah Almighty said, كَذَّبَتْ ثَمُودُ المرسلين. The people of Thamud, they denied the Prophet. So the people that Allah Almighty sent Thamud, or Allah Almighty sent Salih to, these people called Thamud. And Thamud, these are the people or the tribe of this uh, peninsula. And Allah Almighty said, كَذَّبَتْ ثَمُودُ المرسلين. Thamud, the people of Thamud, they denied the prophets. إِذْ قَالَ لَهُمْ أَخُوهُمْ صَالِحْ أَلَا تَتَّقُونَ When Salih, peace be upon him, said to his own people, أَلَا تَتَّقُونَ Don't you fear Allah Almighty? إِنِّي لَكُمْ رَسُولٌ أَمِينَ I am a prophet to you, I am a messenger, messenger to you, and I am a trustworthy. I am a trustworthy messenger to you, you have to listen to me. فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُونَ Fear Allah and obey Allah Almighty and His instructions. وَمَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ أَجْرِ I do not ask you. I do not ask you a single penny. I don't ask you anything from you. إِنْ أَجْرِيَ إِلَّا عَلَى رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ My أجر, my reward is only and only coming from Allah Almighty. I'm not doing this for any benefit. My reward will come from Allah Almighty. And then Allah Almighty mentioned in the Quran about them, that what they used to do. So the verse continues until Allah Almighty said, وَتَنْحِتُونَ مِنَ الْجِبَالِ بِيُوتًا فارهين. You are, Allah Almighty gave you this strength. So you are going and curving and making house inside the mountains. Can you imagine the technology and the mindset? or how smart these people are, how intellectual these people are, Allah Almighty gave them everything. And Allah gave them the strength that they are able to make houses inside the mountains. It's not something easy. And obviously, the technology that we have here now in 2020, it was not available in a few thousand years ago. Subhanallah. So, but what happened? وَتَنْحِتُونَ مِنَ الْجِبَالِ بِيُوتًا فَارِهِينَ You are curving and you are making houses inside the mountains and you are completely comfortable with it. So, فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُونَ So, you have to fear Allah and obey Allah Almighty. And all these verses are mentioned in Surah Ash-Shu'ara. And then Allah Almighty mentioned about the people, how they reacted. How they reacted to these people. Allah Almighty says, قَالُوا يَا صَالِح These people said, يَا صَالِح, O صَالِح قَدْ كُنْتَ فِينَا مَرْجُوَّ قَبْلَ هَذَا You were good and sane 
and a smart before you start coming and calling us to worship Allah Almighty. Atanhana an na'bud ma ya'budu abauna. You are asking us to stop worshipping what our forefather used to worship. وَإِنَّنَا لَفِي شَكٍ مِمَّا تَدْعُونَا إِلَيْهِ And we are actually doubtful of what you are inviting to us. What you are inviting us to do and worship. And we, we, we have a doubt in that. So what they did, of course, they are denying. They are not asking uh, for, for, for uh, any... Uh, they are not uh, responding to anything that uh, Salah is asking for. At the end, they says, you know what? Look, we are living in the middle of mountains look at this big rock i want you to ask your god allah to bring from this rock a camel and if the camel comes out from it we will worship you and we will worship allah and we will obey you so what happened so allah almighty he prayed to allah almighty salih and Allah Almighty accepted the dua of Salih and the rock split and from it the naqah, the camel came out. So Allah Almighty said to Salih to go and tell the people. What Allah Almighty says, lakum ayah. This is a camel from Allah Almighty. It's a sign from you and it's a sign from Allah Almighty to you. فَذَرُوهَا تَأْكُلُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ اللَّهِ فَذَرُوهَا تَأْكُلُوا فِي أَرْضِ اللَّهِ Let this camel go and eat from wherever she wants to eat because she was a female camel and do not touch this camel with anything. وَلَا تَمَسُّوهَا بِسُوءٍ فَيَأْخُذَكُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ Do not touch this camel with anything bad. Don't harm this camel. Otherwise, the punishment will come to you. So what happened? Salah told them that one day she will drink from this well, the other day she, the people will drink from this well. And never ever come on the day when she is drinking from it. So when the camel drinks the milk or the camel drinks the water from the well, she drinks everything and she will make it empty. So it goes for a few days, then the people came and this is what this nonsense going on. Why the camel drinking our water? We are not, you know, uh, we will not handle it and we will not accept it. And some other people said, but we are drinking from, from the milk of, of camel and we are, we are also getting benefit. So some people actually supported and some people believed in Allah Almighty, but some people they denied. What happened? Some evil people came and they said, you know what? We will just go and slaughter the camel. We will kill the camel and we will get rid of the camel and Salah. So Allah Almighty says, فَعَقَرُوهَا فَقَالَ تَمَتَّعُوا فِي دَارِكُمْ ثَلَاثَةِ أَيَّامٍ They killed the camel and Salah was shocked. And Salah told them that, okay, you did this, now you have to wait in your place for three days. ذَلِكَ وَعْدٌ غَيْرُ مَكْتُوبٌ And the word of Allah Almighty will come, the punishment of Allah Almighty of come, after three days, ذَلِكَ وَعْدٌ غَيْرُ مَكْتُوبٌ This is a promise which is not lie. It is a true promise of Allah Almighty. So they waited for one day and they are in fear. The second day they are in fear. The third day they are in fear. And what happened after that? And why they are in fear? Because they know the Salih, he is a prophet of Allah. The camel, it was a miracle from Allah Almighty. And Allah Almighty sent from the sky a, a noise as a scream and from the earth it was shaking and it destroyed all the people of Thamud. So there was from top a loud noise. Someone is kind of screaming and that noise that made people completely out of their own mind. It completely paralyzed them and the earth started shaking and it destroyed everything that they did and everything on the earth and everything that they have and amongst themselves everything gone everything is finished and perished because they denied the prophet of allah they denied the signs of allah and denied the actual sign that allah almighty gave them that is the camel naqatullah the camel of allah almighty 
So alhamdulillah, by that, we are done with the story of Saleh. Have you ever wished that there was a Muslim version of YouTube or Netflix? Well, we have created one. The One Islam TV app has no adverts and is safe to browse for your peace of mind. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran videos, stories of the prophets, hot topic, debates, and so much more. Four to eight new videos are uploaded daily, inshallah. You can watch or listen to videos while your device is switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you, as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.